welcome to Employment Law This Week. I'm George Whipple. Last Tuesday, the Sixth Circuit was selected by lottery to hear the consolidated legal challenge to the Biden administration's OSHA vaccine or test mandate for large employers. Prior to the lottery, the Fifth Circuit enjoined OSHA from taking any action to implement or enforce the mandate. OSHA has shifted into neutral and is complying with the injunction until the three-judge panel assigned to the case in the Sixth Circuit decides how to handle it. While OSHA is not implementing the emergency temporary standard, it also has not changed the December 5th and January 4th deadlines for compliance. So many employers are still getting their plans in place now. Three federal agencies join forces to combat retaliation. The Department of Labor, the NLRB, and the EEOC are launching a joint initiative to investigate unlawful conduct by employers and raise awareness around workplace retaliation. While collaboration between the three agencies is certainly not unprecedented, this joint task force likely means increased enforcement around retaliation and whistleblower issues. And on the state level, New York just expanded whistleblower protections for employees in its own attempt to combat retaliation. Effective January 26, 2022, New York's amendments broaden the scope of the New York whistleblower protections beyond healthcare fraud and public health and safety concerns. Also in New York, a new law will require employers who monitor employees' phone calls, email, or internet use to provide them with written notice. Employers who monitor electronic communications will have new compliance obligations. And while the law doesn't take effect until next May, New York employers who are updating their policies and handbooks now should take these new requirements into account. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.